Hello! Welcome to the Treasure Box. For anyone new visiting, my name is Wendy. I sell vintage and contemporary jewelry and accessories, uh, mainly on the eBay platform, but also Etsy as well. Um, this was originally going to be an accessories uh, haul, but I did buy some jewelry as well, so uh, there is jewelry in here too. Um, everything in the video was uh, sourced here in Connecticut, uh, in person at different uh, thrift stores and estate sales. Um, so I will start with the stuff I picked up in sort of the Niantic area, which is about an hour away from here. Um, we were going up there and I decided to look at thrift stores and uh, there was one that seemed to have a lot of jewelry, but um, when we got there, the jewelry was pretty pricey and um, there really wasn't anything that I really liked, but I did get two fabulous scarves. Um, one was this Echo scarf. Um, so it is the kind of brown, sort of a periwinkle blue. Uh, there's green in here as well. And I'll show you the other end. It's like a long rectangular scarf and uh, here is the Echo brand. Um, and Echo, as I've mentioned in past videos, has been around since 1920. Uh, it was founded by a husband and wife and I'll put a link below to their uh, to their website as well if you're not familiar with them uh, because they have really beautiful scarves and accessories and uh, yeah, just a really beautiful products. And I pick up both their vintage scarves and then their new ones as well. Um, and then also at this store, I found this amazing, it's almost like a Hermes kind of style scarf. It is a company called Mantero and I will put a link to their website below as well. I'm gonna try and turn this around the right way. Um, it's kind of hard to get the whole scarf on screen, um, but this is the tag Montero collection and it's got the Roman numerals. Uh, they've been around since 1902. They are an Italian company, a textile company. Um, and I actually wasn't familiar with them till about two years ago when I found one of their other scarves. Um, but this is like, honestly, like brand new mint, hand rolled. Um, so all like the hand rolled silk and just a really cool pattern and I'll do my best to move the scarf to show it all but it's like uh, butterflies, thread, pearls, shoes, buttons, ducks, dice, <laughs> a little bit of everything, fans, um, quill pen or pen, um, paintbrush, yeah, um, but really like an amazing scarf and it's in excellent condition and their scarves go for several hundred. Um, so it was definitely a good find and almost one of those scarves that some people might frame. Some people do frame the, like the Hermes scarves and some of the ones with the really cool patterns. Um, and after that, we found a Goodwill um, not too far away and uh, got this really cute bag. Um, it's got a really fun prints of like yachts, um, whales, so here's the whole pattern. And it, I wasn't familiar with this woman. Her name is, uh, I'll show you the thing. It's Margaret Smith and she was based in Gardner, Maine. But I just love the, the textile itself and so I had to get it. And like the scarves, I look for bags in really good condition with not a lot of wear, very little stains. Um, you know, I want something that somebody would really wanna buy, not something that's really funky. Um, so yeah, I just love this, it was so cute. And then um, on our way back home, we stopped at a Goodwill near near us and I got this Harrods bag. Um, and I'll put this down so you can see it a little bit better. So I think it's called, um, it's new with tags, it's called The Glamorous Girls. Um, so it's vinyl, has the Harrods store and this sort of fashionista shopping up front and then the Harrods on each side. And uh, yeah, I mainly picked it up because it was new with tags. I might have left it if it wasn't. Um, but uh, if you haven't been to London, and I know nobody's really traveling these days, but um, Harrods is a really fun store to take a look at when you're over uh, in London the next time. But it's, it's really fun. I'm sure many of you have already been there, but if you haven't been to London or haven't been to Harrods, um, it's definitely just like a fun store to check out. Um, so I figured somebody would either want this for themselves or they'd want it as a gift because it was new with tags and it comes with a little Harrods keychain as well. Um, so got that. And then um, I'll go over, I'm gonna put this down a little bit so you can see the jewelry better. Bring the camera in a bit. Um, went to one of our local consignment stores where I get a lot of stuff from and I got this really cute uh, Sawarski red uh, velvet box and it's it's like completely new 
for rings. You could probably put chains in there. It has uh, Swarovski crystals on the top and like a little crystal heart on the closure. And then I found more of the Kirk's Folly. So I was excited. I was there a couple weeks ago and this woman had dropped off Kirk's Folly and they kind of told me she might be coming back and it had been a few weeks since I'd been in there because we were busy with our book sale and then our estate sale. Um, but I got all of these fun pieces. So uh, continuing on with, I, I, in the previous video, I showed the uh, moon face bracelet. Well, this is the moon face, but just as a pendant. So it's an iridescent moon face, just latches on to a chain, or it could also be a charm as well. And it just says love never dies on the back in Kirk's Folly. Um, but these pieces are very collectible. Um, and then uh, also as a ring as well. And this one's a little bit hard to show. It was really hard to photograph. Actually, the moon is upside down. <laughs> so it's silver tone with the moon face set with Aurora Borealis rhinestones. And then it just says, um, make sure if this is going the right way, uh, Kirk's Folly in, in Thailand on the back. Um, and it's a really good condition. There's some silver tone wear on one side of the band. Um, and this was my favorite necklace. Um, I was actually tempted to keep it. <laughs> Um, it is called the Dream Angel Necklace, and I'll move these aside. Um, so it is like a kind of a lavender glass cameo style uh, angel. And then this gold, gold tone chain with uh, hearts, a key, stars, uh, crystals, um, really, really nice. And um, what was cool too is that it came with the extender. So it's normally like an 18 inch necklace, but then with the extender, it's another nine inches that makes it 27. So you could have it a bit shorter, wear it longer. And I was really tempted to keep this, but I have listed it. It's a very collectible piece and uh, it's, it's almost in mint condition. I list it like new um, because it doesn't have the box or anything. And then the, sorry, a little bit of prints on the back, but then it kind of has a mirrored back on there. So that was everything from that store. And then, um, just some random pieces I picked up. I was at another Goodwill that's up by my dentist and I found this Sarah Coventry. It's called the Peace uh, Cross Necklace and it's from 1975, it says on the back. Um, Sarah Coventry, do I have this going the right way? Sorry. <laughs> Sarah Coventry uh, Limited Edition 1975. Um, it does have a pearl. It's supposed to have a pearl in the center there. It is missing. Um, I did disclose that in the listing, um, but I really like it. I actually prefer it without the pearl, <laughs> but you can tell it kind of does look like something is missing. And so somebody could just put a pearl back in there or wear it as is. Um, so I got that piece. And then um, this necklace from another Goodwill here. And I paid a little bit more for this. It might not have been a, a, so much of a wise decision. I'm going to pull the camera up a bit. Um, so it's by a company called Roost, and I will show you the tag. Oops, where is it? So it just says Roost, like that. Uh, kind of a fish hook, fish and eye closure. And then it's just three strands of like brass half circles. Well, th they're probably circles. They're just folded over, so they look like half circles. And then it's on a like a tan cord, but really nice contemporary piece. Um, there's not a lot of their stuff for sale on eBay, so I just liked it and, you know, um, I figured somebody would somebody would enjoy it. Um, it may not be so much of a good resale because I did pay more for it, but sometimes I just do that. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to lose money, but <laughs> not going to make too much money on that one. Um, and then, uh, let me see. Then we went to a local sale, and I'll just grab these all here. Um, there was a sign like two weeks ago down the road from us, and uh, it was a Sunday, and it said like tag sale, and I looked on Craigslist, and I looked on estatesales.net, and I didn't see any photos or listing for it. And I'm like, well, just take a couple minutes to walk over there, and just be, it was a beautiful fall day. So my sister and I walked over there, and they actually had two buckets full of scarves. Um, this man's wife had like 600 scarves, and she didn't really want to part with them, but he he got her to part with some. <laughs> so um, I picked up three that were really, really nice. He, there were a lot of them and they were in excellent condition, but um, he was asking a little bit more and I just went for the ones that I knew um, I liked the most and that just also had, um, I know would probably sell much better too. There was a lot of Adrian Vittadini and I was like, they're beautiful scarves, but I think these brands like Echo, um, I prefer. So this is, uh, this might seem to be hand rolled too, but silk, uh, paisley, 
and it's just a whole square scarf. So you can see even between this one and the other how the logo has changed on the Echo scarves. Um, I need to get sort of an idea of the, the logos over the years since they've been around since 1920. Sometimes I can tell which are vintage, sometimes I can't. This was my favorite scarf, and I'm going to get this going the right way. This is a Moschino scarf, and it's going to be hard to show the whole thing. You can kind of see the Moschino written in the scarf as well. So I'll try and get you to show the center. So it is a peace sign in the middle, kind of radiating outward, and it's all within a heart. And I'll just try and do like a full screen here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show scarves on the, but it's, I just know somebody would really love it. And there's not a lot of these that I've found for sale. So it's definitely, I think, more of a harder piece to find. Um, I didn't know that when I bought it. I just go kind of based on instinct designer, the look of the scarf, um, the condition it's in. And if you're a reseller um, and you don't already sell scarves, you definitely should take them into consideration because you can get, you can find them pretty easily at estate sales. And I just look for the name, the type of fabric, the condition it's in, but you can get, you know, pretty good prices and they're like ties. They don't always move so quickly, but I mean, I've, I haven't even had any Chanel or Hermes, but I've sold scarves up to 150. So um, it's definitely worth looking at scarves if there's not something you already buy. Um, so this one is Salvatore Ferragamo and it's got chipmunks, uh, birds, fox, more birds, <laughs> geese or duck. And um, I'll just stop on the fox for a second. So uh, obviously my channel is called The Treasure Fox. and. I've mentioned in past videos or maybe a video and if you're new here my mom's middle name was Fox and my grandmother's uh, maiden name was Fox and my grandmother sewed and uh, wore fabulous clothing and she loved costume jewelry and my mom was an antiques uh, collector she did sell a little bit my father and her did shows but honestly it was more to just buy more things. <laughs> we think that was an excuse for my mom to keep collecting. Um, so anyway, I grew up going to tag sales and antique shows and honestly, I had no interest in them whatsoever. And it is kind of funny how things influence you that you don't realize back then um, because now I sell jewelry and I, I have another store too. I sell a lot of our parents stuff, but um, you know, the Fox is an ode to both my mother and grandmother. So all my stores have the word Fox in it. And I will buy Fox as long as they're cute. <laughs> Can't pass up a Fox. And I'm not keeping the scarf. I am selling this. It is a really cute scarf. And Ferragamo uh, is very popular as well. Um, and then the last thing from that sale was this um, bracelet. And I'll just hold it up because I've got one more thing to show. So I don't want to change the view of the camera again um so this is just a stella and dot scarf sorry stella and dot neck uh, bracelet um it's called the christine or christina bracelet um and it's just gold tone with these little rhinestone links um yeah really nice and uh yeah so got that and then the last piece another scarf <laughs> that's why i said it's going to be an accessories haul um so this was from the third day of a sale so we had our estate sale and we had it what ended like a week ago and then on sunday i stopped by this local sale it was the third day so i wasn't expecting anything and i was like well i'll just go with house it'd be cute there's a lot of nice houses in this area so a great way to see them is to go to estate sales um so I found this and he was asking a little bit more, but I felt it was worth it. So it's in its Saks Fifth Avenue box. It is another scarf, but I don't even think it was worn. It is Ralph Lauren silk, um, but it is like perfect holiday scarf. And so I'm gonna show you guys, um, let's see. So we've got the bear, we've got, um, you know, all this sort of holiday theme. And then we have the North Pole here somewhere. Okay. And yeah, Santa. And I think that was Santa. Something looks like Santa <laughs> or a Santa. And then just sort of like, you know, Ivy, um, the, you know, different Christmas things. And yeah, I just thought, well, somebody would love this for the holidays. You can almost give it as a gift because I honestly think it's brand new. I haven't decided I'll have to look at a little bit more closely. Um, I'll look at, I'll either list it as brand new or like new. Um, I'll, I do used and then I put like new under condition. Um, Cause I just think it, it, somebody would really love this and Ralph Lauren does really well. Um, so that was everything I've gotten from the last couple weeks. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, please hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time and feel free to leave any comments or any questions below. Okay, bye.